Beyond Earth Life The Search for Extraterrestrial Civilizations Humanity has been thinking about the question of our existence as an isolated species ever since the dawn of civilization. Human curiosity has no limits when it comes to the vast space. One mystery has always captivated us. Are we alone in the universe, from the stars to the galaxies beyond? Through a program known as the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, scientists and researchers have been devotedly looking for solutions. Friends, there is a small reminder before starting our discussion. If this is the information you are really interested in, don't forget to subscribe for notifications in any newly uploaded video, and wait till the end of the video so that you don't miss any interesting facts. Now let's continue our discussion. When represented as science fiction, the idea of alien involvement in human affairs is often accepted nevertheless. When presented as fact, it is frequently met with contempt. As we investigate the complexities of communication, reflect on the Fermi paradox, and learn about technology that spans the gap between humans and the cosmos, this fascinating voyage transports us into regions of possibility. The sun and other heavenly bodies were formerly even believed to revolve around humanity, making us at the core of the universe. Although it was a flattering assumption, it was tragically false. However, in the early days of the Inquisition, disagreeing with an idea could be fatal. The biggest and oldest metaphysical question of them all, do we occupy a solitary universe? Nearly no one thinks life on our planet is unique given the fact that there are innumerable other worlds with circumstances similar to Earth. The Milky Way has more than 300 million planets that have Earth-like characteristics. Is there anyone else in the galaxy? Could therefore be a far better query. We know that on average, every single star has a planet traveling around it, and that one to five or so of them have Earth-sized planets going around them since we have already discovered 4,000 exoplanets orbiting other stars, and we have the first census of the Milky Way galaxy. Out of the 100 billion stars in the Milky Way galaxy we're talking about, there could be billions of planets the size of Earth, and given the odds, I think it is really silly to suggest that we are the only ones. Exobiology, the study of just alien life, and hence criticized as a science without a subject matter, has been superseded by astrobiology, a word coined for the study of all life in the cosmos. Astrobiology, as opposed to exobiology, accepts the scientific possibility that life may never be discovered outside of Earth. In fact, there is no proof that life exists somewhere other than Earth, and we cannot solely claim that we are the only living beings in the universe. There is a wide range of possible consequences for life on distant planets. The Drake Equation, which predicted there were roughly 1, 0 to 100 million planets with advanced civilizations in the Milky Way galaxy, was all we had to answer this question for more than 60 years. Now, researchers at the University of Nottingham believe they have developed a new estimate based on cosmic evolution that predicts the existence of at least 36 active sentient civilizations in the Milky Way galaxy. The Kardashev scale, which measures a civilization's level of technical development based on the quantity of energy it can utilize, is used to rank intelligent alien civilizations. Guys, do you know? There are many professionals who have explained their ideas about the extraterrestrial civilization. Once Avi Loeb, an Israeli astrophysicist, explained his idea, we have a propensity to believe that we are unique, but this is a sign of immaturity. Our technology has only been for 100 years, and it is currently expanding tremendously over a three-year time period. The Sun formed quite recently in the universe's history of star formation. The majority of Sun-like stars were formed earlier. Some of them have already passed away and turned into the White Dwarf. If you were to visualize a society similar to our own revolving around a regular Sun-like star, if they made it this far, they might be a billion years old. Then picture technology from a billion years ago, simply us, it would appear to be magic. Stephen Hawking, a late English theoretical physicist, cautioned us against contacting extraterrestrial life before it's too late, since they could not be the kind we hope for. He further explained, as I grow older, I am more convinced than ever that we are not alone. One day we might receive a signal from a planet like Belize, 832C. But we should be wary of answering back. 
If we are indeed not alone in the galaxy, and an alien civilization has ill intentions towards us, it's already too late. As we've already been broadcasting our location to the universe for years. Yeah, that was a shocking idea. However, some astronomers have tried to give some of the alien civilizations in our galaxy greater empirical support in recent years. They have concentrated on two major mysteries. The study of how life can develop on Earth-like planets under abiotic settings, a process known as biogenesis, and how likely it is that intelligence will follow. Astronomers continue to dispute what these estimations suggest for life in the universe as a whole despite having these numbers in hand. The scientific community is divided on the issue of whether there are alien civilizations in the Milky Way. The vast majority of Earth-like planets prove that we are not alone, as one half points out, and the other half requires concrete proof. That brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for staying to the end of the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and tell us what you think about this video below in the comment section. Illuminous. Face the dark. Did you enjoy this video? For more videos like this, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell button to see more videos. The Illuminous. We face the dark.